What's good, YouTube? Today's video is going to be all my royal blue Jordans. All right. Now, this ain't navy blue. This ain't UNC blue. This is royal blue Jordans. So, we're going to do that. Let me, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Hold on. So, this is crazy. I was going to go in order originally. Let me make sure. I got I got to have everything in here. If I don't, man, fuck it. It is what it is. So, it's going to be royal blue and black, royal blue and white, but they're royal blue, all right? No navy. Some like on the cusp, like the French blues, I added some. This is crazy. This is fire actually. <laughs> like it's insane. It's really insane. It don't do this, kids. Don't follow me. Please don't follow me. But this shit is, is kind of wildfire to see, like, all these royal blue Jordans. I'm going to throw a post up on my Instagram so you guys can see what I'm looking at. But, yeah. Nah, this is dope. Let's get on to it. And the first sneaker I'm going to show you guys is the royal blue. College blue. I believe that's the technical name of this blue. College blue 17s. All right. It's the OG joint. The one he wore on the Washington Wizards. 01, 02. Classic. Came back as the El Presidente. Wild, tough. Might could fire you and then play right next to you. This shit was wild. And I was appreciative of those years. I just did a Jordan 17 video. So you guys go check that out. And yo, those years were crazy. And he was still really good. But Jordan 17, that's the first one I'm going to show you. I think I got like like 20 pairs, if not more. All right. So we're going to go right into them. No order. So it's going to be all mismatch. Jordan 10. Jordan 10 Magic. Now there's two versions of this. There's the Magic version with the silver Jumpman. And then there's a Nick version just like this, but with the orange Jumpman. All right. So... That's a little knowledge for you guys, but it's the Jordan 10. I know it's mostly white and black, but the Royal Blue's there. I had to put it in the video, so that's that, all right? Jordan 10 Magic. That's one. Okay, we just jump from the top. Jordan 35 Sisterhood. I believe that's the name. I really got this sneaker. To go with the Dallas Mavericks Luka Doncic jerseys. All right. It's got the silver on the tongue. Reflective. It's got the royal blue hits. And it goes hard with the royal blue Luka Doncic Dallas jersey. So I had to add this to the collection. And what I thought was pretty dope about this one. Is you get the leather panels on the side. Gum bottoms. Royal blue hits. It got a little sparkle on the hits, whatever. But then the laces are also royal blue and white. So that's fire. And then you have a, like a reflective situation over here. <laughs> and then a reflective situation over there. So this is dope, man. And listen, the 35 is a great basketball sneaker. 35 and 36. I'm almost thinking about recopping one of my 36s. Just so I can have it for ball. I plan to play basketball more so this upcoming year. 2022, I'm coming for y'all head. All right? I'm, I'm shooting the jumper. <laughs> I'm playing ball. So I want to cop a 36 or a 35 to play ball in because that's the elite basketball shoe. I'm telling you no lies. Jordan Brand has been elite basketball shoe for at least the last three years. And it really started from the 28, 29. The 30 was okay. The 32, the 31, 32, 33. The 31 was really good. 32 was, uh, 33 was, uh, but the 34, 35, 36, crazy. All right. When it comes to balling, those three, those last three models, they get busy. So with that being said, I'm going to have to throw that in there. All right. Now. Everybody knows this sneaker, so it ain't nothing special. But it's the Laney with the royal blue and yellow. Warriors colors, you know, Rams colors. You could go crazy with this however you want. 
but it is what it is, man. It's it's a dope Jordan Five for sure. All right, and the fact it got that twenty three. Like I said, I go crazy for that twenty three, embroidered in, which is dope. So there's that. All right. So we got that. All right. <sighs> Man, this is a banger. Royal toes, blue blue toes, whatever, whatever the fuck the kids call it nowadays. Man, I don't know. I don't know anymore. But these are the royal toes, black, uh, mostly black. Royal toe, of course. And then, you know, some white paneling. So, these are fire. I got them. Yo, I ain't... I had to wear these. I mean, what do you think? I think I wore these. I think I wore these. So, these are dope. Alright. Classic. Classic, son. Hey, yo. True blue threes, man. True blue threes... These are, of course, a fire. All right? There's no question. Leather, stiff as hell. <laughs> Wild stiff. <laughs> but, yo, these shits hit, man. This is a classic OG. You really can't go wrong with them. So, these are dope. All right? So, that's the Jordan 3. Huh. So... Jordan 12, Blue Games, Wild Corny with the name. These are the Flu Games, just black and blue version of them. Even got the translucent bottoms. I definitely wore these. These are wild, dusty. But these are fire. I mean, like I said in a previous video, anytime you have a black and red classic Jordan and you just add the blue where the red is, to me, it's an automatic classic. So... Blue games, they're fire. Alright. I think what the fuck are these called, man? These are called the uh, race nah. I think these are called some some blue shit. Some blue shit. <laughs> Jordan ones. These remind me of the Chicago, except they put the blue where the red is, and then everything else is like the Chicago where the black is is like the Chicago. But these are dope, man. These are dope for sure. For sure, these are dope. Good leather. These are clean. I definitely wore these. You know what I mean? So, I don't post everything on Instagram. I don't post everything on my stories. I try to. But sometimes I'm just living life. And, you know, I'm maneuvering. I'm doing my thing. And sometimes I don't get to post, you know, me wearing these shits. But I try to wear... As much as I can. All right. Especially for a person who can only wear them during the weekend. Or during my off day. Alright. Another fire sneaker. Jordan 13. White Royals. Damn. These are clean. These are clean. Of course. White and reds are the original OG. But damn. They killed it with these. Killed it with these. Good leather. Everything. Fire. Dope. Dope sneaker. Oof. Where are we going with it? Fuck it. We'll go here. So, I wouldn't be mad at this if they made this a bread. I'll be honest. If they made this a bread, I wouldn't be mad. But, this is the leather version of the bread, but just the royal on where the red is. Alright? So, on the breads, or on the black cements, my bad. No disrespect to the history. You know, you got the red here. You got the red on the jump man. You got the red on the outsole on the tip. You got the red on the bottom. I wore these before. But these are dope, man. These are these are clean. Leather. The fact that they didn't put new buck on this one. It was just a little bit different, but these are fire. All right, jump man on the back. Dope, dope. Whew. This is an OG. OG, y'all. I think I actually wore this jersey with this sneaker. I don't have photo evidence of it, but I did. Believe me, y'all. 
I be lying sometimes too. Sometimes I forget. Homeboy, check me. He's like, yo, you said the pinstripe was your favorite. Then you said the solid fucking Jordan jersey black was your favorite. He's like, which one is it? I was like, son, you got me. I fucking be lying and I forget. So the combination is just crazy. But Jordan 6 Sport Blue. It's the OG. It's dope. Black tongue. Black inliner. This is sick. If we get a remodeled version retro with the Nike Air, even better. All right. But this is dope right here. So, Royal Blue Sixes. All right. Shit. Got a couple of pairs, man. Crispy. Now, I said this before in the Jordan 12 video. This is my favorite retro. So, non-OG colorway of the Jordan 12, period. It's my favorite one. I don't know if it's my favorite because Kobe wore it. Maybe that's sentimental to me. Or it's just a dope-ass colorway because it is. But it's dope. It's dope. And I actually got a 20% discount off of Nike. And I got this about a week early because they played me and canceled my Jordan 12 Masters. They canceled it. Straight up canceled my order. I ordered it. I got it. All of the payments were pulled through and they canceled it and they offered me this Jordan for a 20% discount. First off, I wanted this one more than the 12s, Masters. And then this one is just a classic, man. It's a classic 2004 release or whatever, 2003 release. Whatever this came out originally, this is a classic sneaker, much nicer sneaker than the Masters, in my opinion. So, glad to have it. Okay. Now, I spoke about this in my Steph Curry video. Jordan 14s. This is the low ski. All right, so we got the slope. This is a nice new buck on the blue. Paralyzed shark teeth, whatever the fuck that is. New buck suede on the toe cap. And dope. Ferrari symbol here. Jordan 14, phenomenal looking sneaker. One of my favorites. This is dope. And why I like it so much, it reminds me of the black cement. And you have the blue cement. Or whatever the fuck it's called. But it's the royal blue, black, Jordan 3. Dope. The leather isn't as tumbled as you get on the Jordan 3 cements. I think I did a comparison on another video. But this is still a fire, fire sneaker for sure. All right. Definitely dope. That's, you know, another sneaker right there. And then another sneaker we have. Now, this one was teetering between Navy and Royal. I went with it on this video because, you know, it's got some Royal here. It's got hints of Volt. And these kind of remind me of the Spizzite. The LeBron Spizike, especially on this paint here. Maybe not so much on this. This is more of like a French blue. And let me see. Let me get the French blues out. So if you see the colors here, these are very close. All right. So it's like a French blue Jordan 6, but it has some royal with Volt splattered paint on the midsole. And I love the Carmine colorway, man. I have the Olympic Sixes, and that's going to be for another video. But I love the Carmine kind of style colorway where, you know, you have the new buck between the 23 here. So that's that. All right. Whew, this is a banger. This is a banger. This is a banger, y'all. We have the Jordan 1. Kentucky. All right. They come out with a mid just like very recently with the Jordan mid Kentuckys or version of it. But this is crazy dope. And this is when ones wasn't popular. I got this sneaker on East Bay 
for like 140 bucks. I uh, added a 15% discount or something. It was like 140 bucks total. So shipping, taxes, all of that. And this is a clean fucking shoe. I have no idea what this shoe goes for. But the last time I checked, it was going for a pretty penny. I don't care. Doesn't mean anything to me. I paid whatever, the 130 or 140 that I paid for. That's what it's worth for me. It's great. If I ever get in a pinch, great. But for me personally, this is just a dope sneaker. It's a great sneaker. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's a clean ass sneaker. Clean. So for that, it'll always be in my collection. But this is dope. All right. So Kentucky ones. We're going to go a little new school with you. This is a pretty new release. This is from this year. And you have the Jordan 3 Racer Blue. I believe that's what it's called. So on this one, it's a little bit different on the elephant print. I like how they kept it nice and low. It's a little bit of an old school look to it. But it's also 3M on the elephant print. So it's a little bit different than usual. But it reminds me a little bit of the Fire Red Jordan 3. Because it has a little hint of gray by the eyelets. Dope sneaker. Like I said, this is pretty much a version of the Fire Red 3. Except now they added a little bit of different shit on the elephant print. So that's that. Alright. Alright, let me go with this one. So many dope Jordans here. So, funny enough, this sneaker I've been contemplating on selling. And I'm not really big into selling my sneakers. For the most part, whatever sneaker I get, I really want. So I want a lot. <laughs> but, this sneaker right here. Alright, this is the Tinker Hatfield Ultimate Olympic 7. All right. Apparently, I don't know if that's really the case or they just bullshit us, but it was a dope colorway to me. Leather, everything was on point. New buck was on point. Clean colorway. All right, you got the number nine on the back. Really patriotic. Goes actually pretty good with this jersey right here. But it's a seven. I, I kept in my collection. I always thought about selling it, but I haven't yet. But this is the Jordan 7 Tinker or the Blue. But yeah, so this is the Jordan 7. That's that. All right. Now we got seven left. Seven. <laughs> Man, and these are all bangers. All right, let me do this one first. All right, so... This is a banger, and I think a lot of people are going to sleep on this shoe and look past it. I was able to get this on a Nike Access, whatever the fuck it's called. But you have the Jordan 13 in that black and blue. Really clean. What I love about this shoe, you would see probably Quentin Richardson rock this, or you would see players throughout the league rock versions of this sneaker. And this is just a dope sneaker. The fact they add the 3M, like the OG, is clean as hell. And everything's just clean, man. The new buck's clean on the tongue. Dope. Just a dope shoe. So, that's a Jordan 13. Another PE that, you know, a Jordan brand player wore is the Jordan 14. Crispy. There's like a metallic paint to it. I'm not sure if he wore it like this. It may have just been a royal like, like this. You know what I'm saying? A flat paint. But the fact that these came with like a little sparkle to the paint and like a metallic look. Oof. These go hard. These go hard. I love these fucking pairs. This pair right here, I love them. They're dope. Of course, they remind me of the candy cane, but just the white and blue version. But they got busy with this. All right. This is going to be a banger in the future. If it's not now. I have no idea if it is or not. But this is going to be a dope Jordan 14. 
Okay. Now, originally, I wasn't going to put this particular sneaker in this video because it was kind of navy. It was kind of royal. It was kind of strange. But when I say this is a banger, this is a banger. And this is a dope ass Jordan. And this is a fire fucking Jordan. I love this Jordan. I really do. I really fucking do. I don't think I've ever showed it on camera. So you guys, this is the first time seeing it. For all my subs. I appreciate y'all. But here's the Jordan 23. Alright. You had the DNA embroidered in. This is embroidered in, y'all. On this panel. So it's a leather panel here. But you have embroidery throughout this panel. Alright. It has some royal blue. It has some white. And that's to show Jordan's DNA. This is Jordan 23. So it was a big time Jordan when it released. Because of course his number in 23 years. So then you have the CPU diamond etched. Plastic. Fucking clean. Gold hits. On the tongue. You have his signature on this black part here. If you guys can see it. This is a sick shoe. So, most of the time, and I have a Jordan 23 All-Star up there. Most of the time, the patent leather yellows. So, on my 23 All-Star, it's all yellow. You know, oxidation over time, whatever. But this one has been... Pure white, like almost like brand new, and I've had this for some years now. So, this is dope. You have padding on the insole, carbon fiber on this side, clean, clean sneaker. One of the best Jordans past 15 for sure. The Jordan 23 is a dope sneaker for sure. All right, so that's the Jordan 23. Now I'm going to take you to the Jordan 20, this would technically be 26, I don't know man, it's the Jordan 2011, whatever, so 24, 25, 20. yeah, I think this is Jordan 26, alright, this is the white and royal blue Jordan 26, you had all stars like Dwayne Wade wear this sneaker with his all star jersey. During that 2011 season, the plastic Jumpman on the back, 23 on the tongue. You even have Jordan on the aglets. But I love this sneaker. The fact that it's like a beautiful leather, clean look. One of my favorite sneakers ever. I'm going to actually do an in-depth review on this shoe eventually. Take out the insole so you guys can see the technology. But if you guys didn't know about the shoe... It had multiple insoles. So, if you were a bigger player, take out the insole and put the bigger player insole in. If you were a swifter, smaller player and you wanted more court feel, you added another insole. I believe there was up to three insoles that you can put in this sneaker. And that's dope. Dope ahead of its time. Just some dope ass shit that Jordan Brand was doing back then. All right? So, that's the Jordan 2011. Now, I showed you these, right? Jordan 17. This is the original, though. This is the original. I do have originals to these. I have two. Two originals to these, but I have two retros. So I'm going to show you a retro now. You got the Jordan 18 in white and royal. Six sneaker, clean. Great leather on the upper, tumbled leather on the shroud. Clean sneaker, man. Metallic, aglets, metallic, whatever the fuck these are. Blue in line. Man, this is such a clean sneaker. Dope. Just a dope, dope sneaker. Silver jump, man. So, glad to have this in the collection for sure. This is history. This is Washington Wizards. 
This is technically the last dance because he retired in the shoe. This is the last shoe he would wear in the NBA. So that's dope. All right. There was an All-Star game in 2003. And although he didn't wear this sneaker in the All-Star game, he has a bunch of promo pics with this shoe on. And then he actually has a promo pic brushing this sneaker. All right. So we have the Jordan 18 and that black and suede. How clean is that? Clean sneaker. This is not a sneaker you see every day. This is not a sneaker you see in a lot of collections. Jordan 18s. Embroidered 23 on the tongue. Embroidered Jumpman on the tongue. Clean fucking shoe, man. Clean ass shoe. Thankfully to have these in the collection. It's such a dope thing to have as a Jordan fan for sure. So I'll and we're down to the last one. Now, I'm hoping this is my only Jordan Royal that I have left. If I have any left over, I apologize in advance. But this is the last Jordan that I have in that Royal colorway. And this just may be the most famous Royal colorway. Now, the 18s are close. The 17s are close. True Blue Threes are close. The Laneys are close. If you're going to have a Jordan Royal colorway, it's going to be this one. The Jordan 1 Royals, man. Clean ass shoe. You got the fucking glitter that comes with this bullshit. But this is a dope sneaker. Clean. Dope ass shoe. See that toe box? Crispy. I wore these. I don't know when I wore them, but I wore them. But this is great quality, good soft leather on the toe, good soft leather on the back of the shoe. So clean ass colorway, definitely for sure. Jordan 1 Royals, classic, of course, a hood classic. So that's that. That's my Jordan fucking Royals collection. And I do videos like this because I want to show more of my collection, right? I really don't know how many pairs I have. I'll be honest. I haven't counted. If I did, I'd probably be sad <laughs> to know I had that many shoes in my collection. But I haven't counted. This is a way for me to show you guys more stuff that you haven't seen. So, I'm always open to that. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we out. Alright? Peace.